When we think of zoom photography, we usually think of long range, but at DxO Mark, we evaluate zoom by three categories ultra-wide, close, and medium range, and long range. We recently conducted a benchmark study on the latest flagship devices to test their zoom performance, especially on portrait photography. In China, we observed a trend of using the telephoto lens for portraits instead of the main camera, which is a common practice for professional photographers. You can see in this example, the smartphone main camera has a 23mm focal length which can exaggerate or distort facial features. However, when we increase the focal length, we can see how the model's face and geometry look more natural. For this study, we gathered a focus group of 30 Chinese flagship users in Shanghai and took photos of them with these devices in a variety of scenes. Then the participants chose which photos they prefer in a blind test survey. Through our analysis, we gathered user preference insights of each device for each focal length. We also asked the participants questions related to their smartphone experience. Uh, According to the Chinese focus group, the Oppo Find X8 Pro is their most preferred device for portraits across the zoom range, while the Apple iPhone 16 Pro Max was the least preferred with a lowest satisfaction index. For ultra-wide angle, we can see Oppo was widely preferred over the other devices. For close and medium range, which is highly preferred for portraits, Oppo was also ahead, with Huawei following closely behind it. For long-range tele, however, the Vivo was preferred most. In addition to the consumer focus group survey, we also performed objective lab measurements for texture, noise, and autofocus. Stay tuned for more results and comparisons.